What's up guys, Jordan here from HardcoreMixing.com. I want to give you a tip today about mixing overheads and kind of how to overcome the problem of getting an overhead track that has maybe not enough cymbal in it and too much of the drums themselves. Uh, and then you can have that problem of just getting the cymbals loud enough in the mix without kind of ruining uh, the nice punchy drum sound that you've created on the close mics. So I'm going to show you uh, what I mean with this example. Let's first just check out uh, what the end result sounds like. So I'll play the mix and then also solo the drums. Okay, let's check out the overhead track. So here is my raw overhead track that I got delivered. In this EQ, I'm taking out a lot of the low end and kind of mid range and boosting a little bit of the high end to isolate the cymbals a little more and just give me some more brightness. So that's definitely a big improvement, but we're still getting a lot of uh, snare in there and even some toms. Uh, let's just check th uh, that overhead track out in the mix and see how it's sounding. So it's still kind of dark and when I was mixing this track I noticed that when I kept trying to push the overheads up to get more cymbal it was kind of messing up my snare and tom sound a little bit by getting too much uh, of the snare and toms in the actual overhead track. Um, so I've also got a little compressor on here it's not doing uh, that much but I'll show you that quickly. So it's catching it on some of the harder cymbal hits and the snare as well. So to overcome that issue of having not enough isolated cymbal sound in the overhead track, I duplicated the overhead track here. You can see this is my duplicated track. And then I filtered out basically everything except for the cymbal, the main cymbal frequency. So this filter is set all the way up at 2.5K. And I'm not doing any uh, other boosting or anything like that, just the filter on this track to really isolate to the cymbal sound. So let's see what that sounds like on its own. So now we've really kind of only got the the high end of the cymbals in there and obviously you can still hear a bit of the snare and toms but even on those we're just getting the high end attack there and that actually helps uh, the drum mix anyway so so that's really good that's helping our close mics stay really isolated and punchy in the mix and then also adding some more of just kind of the isolated high end of the cymbals and then i've got the exact same compressor settings following that uh, as the other overhead track but it's going to act on this a little differently and provide more compression on just the cymbals themselves so you hear now we've got like a little more of an intense cymbal sound the crashes kind of sustain a little bit longer it sounds a little more in your face so then it's just a matter of blending that track with the original overhead track so let's uh let's show you what that sounds like here's some context of the drums all together So hopefully you can hear that we've really got a lot more cymbal sound and it's not affecting the rest of our drum sound at all. Uh, it's really brightening up the drums overall and letting us get louder overheads in the mix without, without uh, compromising our close mic sound. And I'll just do one more AB in the whole mix just so you can hear, hear the difference that it's making here. So 
So try out this trick next time you run into this issue. It gives you the best of both worlds, having nice, clear, crisp, loud symbols and energy there and brightness without, uh, without compromising the rest of your drum tracks. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Check out hardcoremixing.com for more tips. I'll see you next time.